This lesson is on dividing mixed fractions, or as I like to refer to it as kiss and flip. In this lesson, we'll take you through an example step by step and show you how easy it is to divide by fractions. First, try to estimate what your answer would be. What would 7 and 1 fifth divided by 2 and 2 thirds be approximately? Even if you get a range between two whole numbers, that would be fine. If I'm looking at this question, I'm thinking it's somewhere between 2 and 4. First step, convert mixed fractions to improper fractions. So you have one numerator and one denominator for each fraction. To convert a mixed fraction to an improper fraction, you simply take the whole number in front of the fraction, multiply it to the denominator, and add the numerator. This becomes our new numerator, and we put it over the same denominator. So for 7 and 1 fifth, we multiply 7 to 5 and add 1 and put it over 5. For 2 and 2 thirds, we take the whole number 2, multiply it to the denominator 3, and add it to the numerator 2, and we put this over 3. So our improper fractions for this question are 36 fifths and 8 thirds. Next, we rewrite the question with our improper fractions. So our question now reads 36 fifths divided by 8 thirds. In the second step, we change the division to multiplication. I remember this by thinking of a kiss, which we symbolize on a letter with an X indicating multiplication. And then we take the reciprocal of the divisor, in this case 8 thirds. And to take the reciprocal of a fraction, all you do is you change the numerator to the denominator and the denominator to the numerator. So it's basically flipping the fraction over. So 36 fifths divided by 8 thirds becomes 36 fifths times 3 eighths. Now we follow the steps for multiplying fractions. We multiply the two numerators together and the two denominators together. Remember, at this point, this is where you check to see if a fraction reduces. Look carefully. 36 and 8 can both be divided by 4. 36 divided by 4 is 9, and 8 divided by 4 is 2, leaving us with 9 times 3 in the numerator and 5 times 2 in the denominator. Nothing else can be divisible by any common factors, so let's complete our multiplication. We get 27 on top and 10 on the bottom. This is an improper fraction, 27 over 10. We can convert it back to a mixed fraction if we like. 10 goes into 27 twice, and we would have 7 remainder. So our mixed fraction answer would be 2 and 7 tenths.